So we recently had a question from a viewer ask, what if you are getting uh, a backlight, but you're not getting any display, like there's no uh, image showing up on the screen? Uh, what happens if you're doing that? I think he was commenting on the video where um, we actually had an image, but no backlight. So now if it's flip-flop, if it's the other way around, you're not getting um, any back, or no, you're not getting any image, but you have a backlight. What would you check for then? Well, actually, I have a A20-2915 board, which is your 2011 MacBook Pro 15-inch board, um, and it's having that very issue. And uh, let me just zoom the camera down here so that you can see. Let me try and get a good view. Uh, that might be good enough. All right, I'm going to plug in the power. And with these, you'll get a fan spin. Uh, the fan will turn off because there's no battery installed. Um, it will then turn on again and then you have to wait about five seconds for anything to show up on the display just because of not having a battery in, in this type of board it does that issue um, so should be coming on yep so you can see I see if I think you can see where I'm rubbing my finger across it here and the backlight is showing up in the LCD and this is my test display so I can do this to this I wouldn't do this to a customer's display um, but you can see how the backlight is working on this but you're getting no image it's just solid black uh, what do you check for then well let's see zoom back out here well, what you check for first let me unplug everything from the board and so what that means is uh, your GPU is actually working as far as we know um, but it's something along that transmits that your data is not being carried all the way from your GPU uh, to the display MUX uh, chip and then to your uh, LVDS port. Uh, something along that way the data is being stopped or, or hindered or, or something. Uh, so one of the most common things with these is um, on the back here I'll show you. Let me just show you on the uh, board view real quick. Uh, so here is the back of this board. Uh, up here, right here at the top is where your MagSafe plugs in. Uh, there's like a rectangular, like a, a plastic connector. This is where your MagSafe cable plugs in. A lot of time when customers work on their board, uh, they damage these two components right here. Uh, these are, they can be easy to come off, um, but this is gonna be your LVDS uh, connection clock chip. It's pretty much like a four uh, pad resistor and it has on one side here it has like one side of the resistor that goes through then the other side it has another one so it's like a two resistors into one because uh, this actually runs through to this side and this actually runs through this side and so you have two of those uh, these two chips right here a lot of times these chips are completely knocked off the board um, uh, this seems to happen uh, a, a lot um, so we're going to check out these uh, chips and see if they're actually on the board. Uh, I'll let me move you over to the microscope view. And like I was mentioning, let's see if I'm zoomed out. There we go. This is your MagSafe, where your MagSafe cable plugs into the board. Uh, this is your MagSafe here. Uh, you've probably seen that before where you plug in the, the adapter. Uh, your MagSafe plugs into the board right here. And so a lot of times when customers pull that out, or if they're using a pry tool or something, uh, they knock off these two uh, filters or resistors uh, in this location. And as you can see, both of these have been removed. Uh, so we're going to uh, clean up these pads and put on new filters into these areas. I'm just going to use the heat gun and I'm going to angle it away from the MagSafe connector because that is plastic and that will melt. Just heat up the board a little bit and then I'm going to use my soldering iron to apply some new solder to those joints. Sometimes when those chips are broken off, and they leave uh, the pads from the chip, and 
that could get in the way of the new chip sitting correctly. So I think we're all clean on those. And now we're ready for the replacement ones. So let me get a, a donor board. See on this one, I've already had the MagSafe connector removed, uh, so I'm going to remove these two, and we're going to replace those on the new one, on the uh, customer board. I'm going to do one at a time because these are easily lost. If you drop it, it's gone. And you don't, while you're heating that up, you don't want to start pulling on the chip until you see that the solder is melted. Because if you start pulling on it, you're just going to break this chip too, like break the resistor. That's been replaced. We'll clean up that area a little bit with some microfiber cloth and alcohol. All right, and now let's pop over over here again and we'll hook it up and we'll see what we have. So let me get my MagSafe board. Plug that in. Plug in our fan. Let me zoom in some for you. Plug in our power adapter. Okay. That fan spin. Again, it's going to turn on, turn off, and then turn back on. And about five. There we go. So now we have uh, a display. We have our you know standard white screen. In just a moment, you'll see the uh, folder with a question mark pop up on the screen. I'll just hold this up so you can see that. Give it a few moments, and you will get that question mark folder. Um, so this is just one of the ways, or one that one thing that you can look for. Uh, it happens pretty commonly uh, per, for those chips to be broken off. Um, if that is not the problem. Oh, there you go, question mark folder. Uh, if that is not the problem, then you want to uh, check your lines uh, going from that. So kind of walk backwards. You could start from these chips and then walk backwards. I, th I think those chips actually go to your MUX chip, uh, your dis uh, display MUX, uh, which is what receives the signal from your GPU, transcodes it, and then sends it on to your display port. Um, so you could check that, and then check your MUX chip. Um, maybe the resistors around that, or um, your MUX might be bad. Or uh, some more resistors along the way between your MUX and your GPU could be damaged. Uh, so you kind of just have to do, you know, walk the road and see what parts have been damaged uh, until you find them. So anyways, I hope that helped you out. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Hope you have a great day.